Hi friends, today let's talk about PCOS which is very common these days. One, the disease PCOS means polycystic ovary syndrome. As you know, as the name implies, the ovaries have got lots of cysts. You know, so these are nothing but follicles. If you do an ultrasonography of ovary, you can see lots of follicles in it. So, by the way, PCOS is surprisingly common across North India, and I always wonder what is really happening. Is it our lifestyle choices uh, hampers uh, the normal reproductive development, or what is actually happening here? The PCOS. So, as you know, the, the characteristic of the PCOS is that the females, you know, after puberty, after the first period, the females start getting lots of body hair, you know, and rather than uh, the cysts in the ovary, the defining characteristic of the PCOS is the androgen, the male sex hormone. So higher androgen in the females. So the females are showing up more and more symptoms of the males. At the same time, you might have seen that the males are also turning out to be more and more female. So, feminization of males and masculinization of the females. This is also quite common these days, right? What is really happening in the society? You might wonder what is actually happening. So, masculinization of the female, that is what, what is actually happening with the PCOS is because of the hormonal imbalance. Because of the androgen starts higher up. So, the females shows up something called hirsutism. So hirsutism is nothing but uh, more body hair, you know, unusual chest hair or other places, the body hair, females usually don't have it. So excessive body hair is one of the characteristic of uh, this uh, PCOS thing. So the genders are getting bented. That is what is happening all because of the problems with the hormonal changes right hormonal imbalance or hormone of course the hormones are secreted by endocrine glands as you know it so endocrines are getting disrupted what is actually happening right so i have written extensively on these lines and my one of my article got published in 2019 january issue of dream 2047 published by dst but unfortunately not many people read uh, you know the popular science articles uh, which are published in selective uh, magazines in India. So that is why I, I thought of making a, an informative video. So if you like this video, please click the like button. So my point is that PCOS as well as many of these gender bending attributes of the modern society can be ascribed to the lifestyle choices that we make. Answer lies inside this box. So what is inside the box? I will open and show you. You might be surprised that you, you, you know, as part of the everyday life, you use these products quite often. Let me reveal that to you. Yes, as you can see this milk. As you know, the milk, we buy the milk uh, in the packet milk. This is nothing but a pasteurized milk coming in the plastic container. Or this is a long shelf life flash sterile milk. You don't need to still uh, refrigerate it, but you need to refrigerate because this is a pasteurized, this is flash sterile milk. And uh, this is uh, the curd. So what is actually happening? How can I relate it? Not many people have written a direct uh, link between PCOS and the packet milk. You know, why people are too much afraid to speak the truth? I'm not afraid. I'm telling you the truth. There is a direct link between consumption of milk in packet milk with PCOS as well as the gender bender. What is actually happening? Let me tell you that. Again, the fine print. If you look these containers back, uh, the, the rear side of this container and look carefully, what is actually printed, not the printed material, but look at the plastic material. If you look at very carefully, you will see a symbol of a triangle, you know, the three arrows. So these arrows represent the recycling ability and inside this arrow you can see a number. So number 1 to 7 is displayed over there. So if you look at this carefully, you can see that this is what I'm holding is a, a, a standard milk, you know, pasteurized milk in poly bag. So as you can see that it is number 4. Number 4 correspond to LDPE. What is that? Low density polyethylene. That is basically a polymer. You know, it's a plastic. So one kind of plastic is called low density polyethylene. Now, what is about this chemical? The low density polyethylene or number four, these numbers represent, uh, you know, resin identifier code. Any kind of plastic that you take, you can see that this symbol, 
the triangle symbol and inside you can see a number so if there is no such number inside that means that you know no one knows so don't trust those plastics so if you can see that number read carefully what number is that so number four means as i told it is low density polyethylene friends low density polyethylene secretes endocrine disrupting chemicals you know endocrine disrupting chemical or edcs so these chemicals come to your system and disrupts your endocrine glands so these glands secrete the sex hormones estrogen as well as androgen and many other hormones so the imbalance happens if you take up this endocrine disrupting chemical so my advice is that just forget taking milk in this sort of uh, you know plastic bags so plastic bag leads out a lot of chemicals phthalates are there styrenes are there if you have uh, growing up small babies in your home do not buy this sort of milk in the milk packets instead go with a milkman get a steel stainless steel uh, you know the container and go to milkman and get the supply directly into it the milk directly into it or if you have accessibility to a milk vending machine for example if you live in delhi many of these delhi mother dairy outlets do have a vending machine so you can go with your steel or glass whatever the containers that you like don't go with the plastic containers but go with uh, you know steel or a glass container or ceramic container is also absolutely fine and go with that and then you can get the milk directly from the the automatic vending machine if you don't have that or if you live in uh, you know the village i suggest you please don't buy this sort of milk cartons instead you simply go with uh, you know the milk uh, milkman or milk woman whoever supplies the milk into your locality now let us see some other things so here this is a uh, mother dairy live this is a long shelf life this is a flash sterile you know uh, milk so if i look it back and if you look at very carefully the recent identifier code here is that i will have to search out <coughs> as you can see that the code identifier code is here it's written here number seven so number seven is the code recent identifier code of this pack what does that mean it is polycarbonate number seven corresponds to polycarbonate so polycarbonate is one of the dangerous chemical of course all these are dangerous polymers polycarbonate leaches out a chemical called bisphenol a if you look the structure of bisphenol a it is almost identical to the female reproductive hormone estrogen so it is a sinoestrogen you know sinoestrogen means estrogen you know which is actually synthetic or chemical uh, you know the estrogen is called sinoestrogen so this uh, milk packet do leaches out BPA into the milk so extremely dangerous it also leads to reproductive hormonal imbalance and endocrine it's a, of course it's an endocrine disruptor hormonal imbalance will lead to gender bender bending of the genders and PCOS so avoid it by all means stay away from any of these plastics instead just get the milk directly from it by the way bpa bisphenol a many of the countries have been uh, banned the chemical for example japan has banned most of the european union has banned you know and americans american continent as well many of the countries have banned that chemical so as new zealand and australia has banned it but in india unfortunately bisphenol a is not banned and most of these plastic manufacturing units do take use of this loophole in our system and they do not uh, pay much heed to the environmental safety of the plastics that they produce it so that is the reason that all these contains bpa this contains bisphenol a and it is really dangerous for that your health so these endocrine disruptors do cause pcos so this stay away from it now this is my uh, curd curd bottle this is by again by verka and if i look back i can see that this is basically number six recent number six that is polystyrene friends polystyrene leaches out styrene styrene is a carcinogen as well as endocrine disrupting chemical so this consumption of this milk in this sort of polystyrene plastic bottle will lead to higher cancer incidence rate as well right in addition to the pcos so just don't use it 
for the sake of health stay away from all these plastics instead get the milk directly milk or milk products directly into the container just uh, you know forget these plastic containers so in addition to all these health risks as you know this plastic the purpose of this plastic is just for the transportation from the store to your home right so once you reach the home what do you do you cut it up off and then pour into your container right and then throw it out do you know where does it go it goes all the way most of the time it doesn't the recycling doesn't happen so state of the recycling is really hampered in most of the countries of the world i could say only one exception that is sweden still in sweden you know almost 80 percentage of this household stuff doesn't undergo this recycling right so these things this cover goes all the way to the world's oceans my friends i have been to antarctica you know on my way voyage to antarctica i have written a book i have linked up in the description section as well on my voyage to antarctica I, what i saw is heartbreaking scene what i saw is an a, a, an island full of plastics in southern ocean this island is something called a uh, plastic litter island marine litter island big island full of plastic wastes because these plastics when you throw it out it goes all the way the final destination is ocean from where it actually degrades once this plastic degrades what will happen you will get extremely small minute plastics you know micrometers or even nanoscale such as very small plastics these are called microplastics it gets into the system the biological system for example small plankton seeded and bigger zooplankton seeded and then krills and small fish and large fish and all the way to the you know the big big birds sea birds get it even penguins friends and if the microplastics get into the penguin what will happen to it the penguins gain the same problems like in human being penguins are also suffering the infertility penguin population is now diminishing because of the microplastics so my advice to you is that stay away from all these plastic bottles and plastic cover milk so instead of that just go with the normal steel you know the containers and get it from the milkman or milk woman or from the the electric vending machines if you have accessibility to the vending machine think about our kids kids of the present generation are the future citizens of uh, india our country so think about it and stay away from all this one especially if you have female children in your home as well as the male children as well the, the bending of the sex is a, a major health risk uh, you know <coughs> immaterial who is being affected but that, that ramifications are really serious so and also the, the link between pc os and uh, uh, milk container is also very very interesting but not many people are talking about it i hope you are now aware of it so please inform everyone else to stay away from this uh, buying milk in the milk uh, cover so instead get directly from the milkman or milk woman thanks for watching and i hope you like this video please click the like button and do share in the relevant groups this video as well as do subscribe i do feature a number of informative videos like this thanks a lot have a nice day